Hello everyone, T3 Toxic here, and I just want to say, I am astonished, I am mind blown of how much support I've got recently. One of my videos right now has 11,000 views. I mean, I mean, like, what? I, I, I don't understand. See, my brain can't, yeah, I just can't understand it, bro. Okay, but it's just crazy, and also... I have 192 subscribers. The video, before this video, I had 72 subscribers. Okay, now my rant's over, let's get right into the video. So you'll probably already know what this video is about. It's about how to lower your ping in Fortnite and lower your ping in general. And if you are having a lot of packet loss in Fortnite, then this should really help you. If it doesn't help you, maybe you have another, maybe you have a different type of problem. But guys, I really think this might help you. So just give it a try. So the first thing you want to do is go onto your web browser, mine's Chrome. Search up TCP optimizer. And now, make sure it's exactly those words. The first link will be www.speedguide.net downloads. Make sure that it's, this is the exact link. Now I'll click on that. Then it should bring you to a page similar to this. What you want to do is you want to go to the TCP optimizer. You'll have a different number, but chances are you'll probably have the same number, but the latest stable release. So as you can see, I've got Windows 10. And there's mine there. And then just click on that and it should download it for you. Once you've downloaded it, you can drag it onto your desktop, but what you need to do is you need to go into your search bar and you need to search for TCP optimizer. Once it's popped up, then you must click run as administrator and it'll ask you these random questions and just uh, click yes to all of them. Now your optimizer will be just blank. What, so what you want to do is you want to drag your Wi-Fi to roughly what you get. So I. I'm getting 100, but I'm putting at 95 because that's basically the minimum I get. So the average person maybe would get 20, 10, or 50, something like that. So put your download speed. Once you've done that, you want to click in the description below and then click on this link that has this file called export. Then download that and then click on file on the TCP optimizer. Click on import then it should take you straight to your downloads. Then look for export.spg. Double click on that and then click apply changes, but make sure this backup is checked. Then you're going to want to click OK and you should be finished. Once you've finished up, close out of that and open up CMD. Just type it in here and then command prompt should come up. Just click on that. So once you've opened up command prompt, just type IP config space slash flush DNS. Once you've typed that in, just press enter. Then it would have just flushed your DNS. Once you've done that, you can just close out of the command prompt. Let's get on to the next step. So the next step is to open up a software called CC Cleaner. I'll have a link in the description to download it. Once you've downloaded it, just open it up. So once you've opened up CC Cleaner, the new update should say Health Check. So just click Skip to Health Check over here, and it will start fixing up your PC. What this is doing, it is getting rid of all the junk, uh, and it's getting rid of all the trackers. And as you can see, I've had 2,000 841 trackers now think how much less ping i'm going to be getting now if you haven't done this before you might get this a, a sort of similar amount but if you have done it recently or something similar like cleaned adware or something like that it might be a bit lower here as you can see it's cleaned a total of 21 gigabytes of junk to remove it's cleaned that much and I've already fixed up my st startup and my security. That's all good. Next, you just want to click make it better and it will start patching up your PC. Once you've done that, you can just close out of CC Cleaner 
And for the next step, there's going to be a link in the description for this software called Malwarebytes. Chances are you already have this, so just open it up. So once you've opened this up, you can click scan. So what this is going to do, it's going to scan for PUPs, potentially unwanted programs. And it can get rid of any sort of viruses that might be lurking around your computer. You might be thinking to yourself, I've probably never downloaded any viruses. But it's rather safe to be sorry, as some viruses can be completely silent and then attack at random times. So some PUPs can be clogging up some of your Wi-Fi, and this can get rid of any viruses using up a lot of your GPU or CPU, or even your RAM. Now, just click scan, or if you want to get started. This can't do any harm to your computer, so you might as well do it just to be safe. My scan may take a lot less time than yours does. This is just because I frequently scan my computer in case I've downloaded any viruses, just to be safe. And once the scan is complete, a notification will pop up, just close that out. And you might have a few PUPs. So, if you have any of those detected, there should be a button somewhere around here saying quarantine. Just click that, and then it might tell you to restart your PC to confirm all the things that it needs to quarantine. And once you've done that, you can just close out of Malware Bytes. And once you've closed out, you can just open up the Epic Games Launcher and play a match of Fortnite or any game you really want to. This can really help out your, your Wi-Fi connection and speed. Okay guys, I hope I helped you out. And I hope these tips helped you get almost maybe zero ping if you're close enough to the servers. But if you guys do really like my content and enjoy today's video, please leave a like. But if you love my YouTube channel, please subscribe. I would like to thank everybody for the support again. But also I just want to say, these videos that I create take a lot of time and effort to make. So please consider subscribing. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry I haven't posted in about a week, but I think I might have to have a weekly schedule, as the coronavirus has made my whole country in lockdown, and it might seem to that I have a lot of spare time on my hands, but it's a bit difficult because everyone's going frantically crazy, so I'll see you in the next one, and that's it from me.